Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Proverbs 27, 1. Ah, that is a good cup of joe. Black, no cream, no sugar, percolated. Coffee was made for more than 100 years in America by the percolation method. I like it, tastes good. Gets all the flavor out of the beans. Oh, wow. That's a good cup of joe. Cup of joe is served black, in my humble opinion. If you dilute it or pollute it with milk and cream and sugar, you might have a cup of Josephine or Joey, but something for kids and ladies. Black. Way coffee ought to be. Let me show you how I percolate a good cup of joe. All right, well, this is my relatively new kitchen gadget right here. A uh, GE immersible percolator. It's got a dial to say... Uh, Strong on the left side. I'm sorry, strong on the right side, mild on the left side. No political jokes, please. It's just the way it's written. I like it about straight up about one o'clock makes a perfect cup of joe. You say, what? That's not a new kitchen gadget? I was built just a few years ago during the Johnson administration right here in the United States of America. Now, uh, the top looks like that. You open it up and you got this contraption here. It's a uh, tube with the coffee stays at the top up here. It's called a percolator. All right, you open that up and you get this right here. Now, the old coffees made for percolator grind were ground um, coarser and they didn't fall through here. Modern coffee is ground for those dripolators and um, it can fall through. What you do want to look for is you want to look for something. Let's see if we can get this to focus. You see what it says for all coffee makers? Get you a grind that says for all coffee makers. If it just says drip coffee makers, you're going to have a lot of grounds fall through, even if you use a filter. Um, if you get one that says percolator grind, you don't have to use a filter. But because that's sort of a medium grind, all right, you got to um, use one of these uh, paper filters. So you just get, they look like a disc. I pulled too many out of there. Look at that. Did All right, you stick it right in there. It's got a hole in the center, and you put it right there, like on there, like that. And what that, that's going to do is that's going to keep most of the grounds out, and most of the grounds will stay out if you get an all-purpose grind like I'm using now. All right, um, if you get a percolator grind, almost all the grounds will stay out. You won't even need the paper filter. But if you get a drip grind, what's going to happen is some of it will get underneath the filter and fall into your coffee. All right, so you just take that. We're going to take the coffee, and it's got markers right here, okay? Uh, let's see if I can find it. I know this right there where it says, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it says nine cups. It's a nine cup coffee maker. Now, nine cups is not 72 ounces. A regular cup is eight, eight ounces, but a coffee cup is just six ounces, all right? So you want to put one of these in here until you fill it to the, you don't even have to count. You just fill it till it says nine cups, you know? On your dripolator, you may have to count, but on a percolator with it measured right there, you just fill it up till it says nine cups. All right? And I think I just about got it right there. That's all there is to that. Now, top on there like that. Set that to the side. All right? And what we're going to do is we're going to pour in nine cups of water. Now, normally what I do is just go over to the sink and pour it right out of the tap. But I've already prepared this. So uh, in this picture so that I can do it here on camera without moving the camera. All right, now there's going to be a measuring thing right here. If you don't have one of these um, plastic tubes on the side to see how much it is, it'll be marked on the inside just the same way that coffee basket was marked, all right? And it's at seven, eight, and you want to kind of learn to kind of stop it over the years. Like I said, the thing's, you know, older than I am, but it works. All right, now it's filled up to the nine mark right there. Put this tube in here like this, right like that. Set it in there like that. 
Now it's gonna make a good cup of joe. We're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna plug it in. It doesn't take long for it to start perking. All right, so it's running. And you're gonna see it start perking right here. Now, maybe you wanna say, well, Big Lou, I uh, wanna grind my own coffee. Well, that's great. You can grind it for percolator grind if you wanna do that. I got my own coffee grinder too. It's brand new. Only came out in 19, 1882 right here. See, you just, it runs on a uh, green renewable energy. All right, and a uh, green renewable energy source. So you don't have to plug it in or anything. It's really neat. The green renewable energy source is called elbow grease. What you do, you put your coffee in there and you turn that right there and your coffee comes out right here and you grind it however you want to grind it. Like I said, brand new. Came out in 1882, Chester A. Arthur was president. Works fabulous. All right, now, you're saying, well, if you need a good cup of joe, what do you need to put it in? You need to put it in just a plain white cup. Now, you can use a coaster if you want to, but you don't need a saucer, because black coffee, you don't need any place to put your spoon, because you don't need a spoon, see? All right, now, put it in a plain white cup, You've got that black coffee in that white cup. It's like Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney, ebony and ivory, living in perfect harmony. And if you need to take it to go, you get you one of those white styrofoam cups. If you need to take a lot of it to go, you get you one of these. That's one of those um, thermos bottles by Stanley. Now, thermos invented the thermos, but that were glass. Stanley invented the steel one so that you can drop it and everything, all right? more than 100 years ago. It was 100 years ago in 1913, and, uh, 2013. So most of that time, they were using uh, percolated coffee in these things, uh, most folks did, you know? That dripolator, uh, it didn't come out till 1974. And interesting enough, it was sold by a guy named Joe. But I understand he liked to eat, uh, drink instant coffee better than he liked the stuff from his Mr. Coffee, um, or dripolators. All right, yeah, Joe was an old baseball player who had married a 1950s uh, sex symbol who wound up dying tragically. All right, but anyway, uh, you can see this. This is coming up. It's water coming up right now. Just looks like water. But real soon, it's going to be darker and darker and darker. All right? So, uh, um, takes about nine minutes so we, we're gonna come back when it's getting ready all right it's been about two minutes uh, since I turned the camera off and you can see that it's starting to get kind of a yellow brown there when it's a good coffee color brown this thing's gonna stop automatically and go into a warming mode by the way I said it was made during the Johnson administration if you don't know uh, your presidents that's about the mid 1960s all right I think it's getting about ready to quit you can smell the coffee brewing in one of these things. It's so delicious. Now I do have one of those dripolators, Mr. Coffee brand. Grew up my age, you saw Jolt and Joe DiMaggio selling them for decades on the uh, TV. But this percolated coffee is delicious. Getting just about ready to stop. Whole process takes about 10 minutes. That's it. I just turned the camera off for a second. There was a little gurgling sound. It all fell back down and it has stopped percolating. This cup of joe is ready to go. So let's um, widen out a little bit here. Pour up a cup of joe just like this right there. Pours right out of there real easy and smooth. Look how beautiful that is. Smells wonderful. You don't need to dilute it or pollute it with any dilutants or pollutants whatsoever. A beautiful, tasty cup of joe served black like it's supposed to be. Oh, that is good, y'all. Big Lou Barbecue.